Well, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to our video of planets through ascendants and we're going to be starting with our new ascendant Scorpio as in what happens when moon is in the ascendant in Scorpio for Scorpio ascendant, which means for this ascendant moon is going to be ruling the ninth house of higher learning, higher knowledge, father, gurus, teachers, counselors. It's the house of divinity, house of hope. And obviously moon also co-rules the seventh house of marriage along with the meaning the co-rules the seventh house of marriage, unionship, partnership. Because you got to understand moon co-rules the uh, sign of Taurus with Venus because after 10th degree in Vedic astrology, moon is considered to rule the sign of Taurus. So we're going to look at this thing. And as always, if you do not know, if you have this particular moon, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your astrological details, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, include my books, consultations, and link to my academy, Maga Vedic Astrology Academy, where I'm currently teaching planets through nakshatras along with ascendant through nakshatras. So let's get started with this particular new video series. So with this particular moon, the number one thing you see is major transformation, constant transformation that occurs not only in a person's life, but in the life of their father and their counselors and their teachers. So if let's say you accepted or maybe somebody accepted you as their, you know, shishya, meaning as their student in some spiritual quest. Number one thing you will notice is that your ability to see things beyond the normal scope of life will be extremely fast. Sudden transformations will come in when a person finds a guru with this particular position. Because here, moon is full of the hidden energy. It's like imagine a person walking with a black hole all over them. And yet everybody's out there trying to search for what's inside the black hole. And this person knows what is inside because I've grown up with this. Not only that, but the, the teachers that they come across, the father, they all go through major transformation in their life, major changes in their life. Now, sometimes this particular moon, now remember, I'm talking about this moon without any aspects, without any conjunctions. This particular moon will and can give abandonment issues with the father or absence of father in life. Also shows father could be a war veteran, somebody who works in the government. This person themselves will want to be in a position where they either become detectives, they become, you know, police officers. They just have a very strong inclination towards research. They want to attain higher education, which is number one, secretive, that nobody else knows about it too much and only they know and the other thing we see is that they dive into education which requires them to do a lot of research so even if let's say somebody who goes into artificial intelligence which is some of the things that i've seen with this because uh it, artificial intelligence is quite a secretive um, uh, study and knowledge because everybody who just works on the basic level they just know small functions of that ai there are some, some people who created it, but they're developing it even more. The other thing we also see that ninth Lord is in the ascendant, which shows a Raj Yoga. That a person can suddenly, not like slowly, suddenly rise to the top. And also when in regards to their marriage, I have seen with this moon, but obviously I also saw a certain other placement of Venus in the chart where they can have multiple affairs. Uh, they can be seduced by other people a lot. And obviously the sexual energy, like this is the person that can actually have many, many sexual partners in life. But again, um, without aspect and conjunction, we don't know because this can also be a placement of a brahmachari, okay? But we can see internally, uh, a person is able, able to either understand the depths of life through sexual interactions or one understands the secret deeper secrets of life by letting go of sexual desires because remember it's like it's that position of the black hole where you don't know how this is going to work out how it's going to transform a person's life and usually such people 
will always, especially when they go into like um, government related uh, position, they like to deal with uh, crimes of, you know, uh, money laundering crimes or, or uh, cases related to dealing with quite a bit of unaccounted wealth. And I have seen quite a bit of charts through my students on my academy who sent me their charts from the last two years. Most of them actually were Scorpio ascendant with moon in the Lagna, meaning moon in the ascendant because they, they were like, I want to know astrology. I want to know the hidden things that other people may not know. So that's one big thing. The other thing we see is, um, especially in the father's home, at one point in life, there would be flooding or leaky taps, especially floods happen. Like, for example, when you were living with your parents, maybe you, somebody in your family, your siblings, somebody left the tap on, they forgot they left, and then suddenly the whole floor just gets wet. And one thing I will say is that if you have any plumbing issues with this uh, position in your home, fix it right away and also make sure that your father's home, let's say you're living in the U.S., your father's in India, make sure that they're not having any plumbing issues because that will affect you as well. Plumbing issues will bring in um, issues with luck, issues with attaining fortune or higher status in life. Now, obviously, it only happens in certain degrees, but um, it can happen. I've seen it happen in other uh, degrees of moon as well in Scorpio. So I'm just using it as a one whole statement. OK, uh, but this is a this is a very intense position, like a person is they can play psychological warfare on people or they're the person who knows that you're about to do something wrong and they'll catch you so they have that like little bit of like maybe five percent clairvoyance naturally given to them okay so anyway guys this is my analysis of moon in the ascendant in the sign of scorpio for Scorpius and people and oh totally forgot um, one of the things you will notice especially for a man your spouse might be in fields of medicine medicine and healthcare uh, this is I have seen it I have actually seen it that even though Venus let's say was in the sign of Leo in Purva Falguni Nakshatra but moon for a Scorpius and person was in the ascendant spouse turned out to be in fields of medicine, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, dealing in chemicals. Okay. So anyway, guys, uh, this was my of Moon in the uh, Sign of Scorpio for Scorpius and people. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss this type of videos and this ascendant. And uh, if you want to know more about your chart along with my academy, check out the links here. Otherwise, um, we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.